lot of cars. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna tip the boat. Good morning. It's a few minutes after 9 a.m. and I'm just leaving my room. Heading upstairs to Lipa's room to wake him up. And uh, I'm gonna head outside and start doing what we need to do. So I got Lipa up and he says that he feels like he only slept for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna give him a little more time to sleep. Um, I'm gonna come back in maybe 20 minutes or so. Okay, so I'm in the lobby of the hotel. I promised you I would show it to you guys. It's really beautiful. And there's all this delicious pastries here, which is probably not kosher. So I can't partake, but I want to show you the lobby. This is seating area, nice fish tank, and check this out, there's all these modern cars, and then exotic cars, and another exotic car, and another modern car, and this is the outside of the hotel, and there's more inside, I'll show you. Okay, so we are currently in Baghdad driving the streets. We left the hotel. Here we have another Iranian uh, monument. Sculpture. Sculpture. Lipa, how are you feeling? I feel great. I mean, I'm counting the hours to go home. Just because <laughs> of safety. Because of my kids. You know, when you have kids, you think about your kids all the time. And I know they think about me. And my friends who think about me. Think about them. Are we gonna be good? I'm just looking for my camera. I don't, I don't think I have it, but the camera's in the brain. This is the Swords Monument. Saddam Hussein built it in the 80s. During our drive through the city, we also passed Baghdad's famous celebration square, many Islamic buildings and mosques, and of course, soldiers, tanks, and security forces. the Tigris River. We're heading down to the river right now and we're gonna take a little boat ride before it gets too hot. This is our first outing in Baghdad. Hello. 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 Oh. I knew it. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna tip the boat. Okay, so we're here on the river, on the Tigris, and Lipa is uh, recording sounds for a song that he's going to be doing. It's a bit of a crazy idea because he's literally going to be taking sounds from the river, sounds of the motor, and he's going to be recording vocals on the actual boat, on the actual river, which is spoken about in the song. But first, a word from our sponsor. It's a fun work environment. And at the same time, when it comes down to business, we mean business. Every single person entering the company has a chance to succeed. We give them training. A team behind me helped me with everything. To have that extra set of hands behind you, that's the reason why we're able to provide such great service to the clients. If you are looking to grow yourself and your financials, join the Mint. So Leap is going to record in the song now, on the water. 
I removed the audio from this clip because Lipa wants to keep the song private until he's ready to release it. We just got off the Tigris River. Unbelievable, we had such a such an interesting time over there. Lipa recorded vocals for a song. Now there's a call to prayer going off. We're heading back to the car. Okay, so we are on uh, Mutanabi Street in Baghdad and we are headed into the Sarai Bazaar that sells a lot of traditional stuff. Hello. So far it's basically only art stuff, but I hope we're going to find some traditional things as well. So I see Elvis Presley made it to Baghdad, and um, the heat is really starting to take effect. It's about 111, 110 degrees today, Fahrenheit here in Baghdad, so it's uh, <laughs> not easy being out and about in the afternoon, which is why we're soon going to head back to the hotel and uh, stay indoors for the hottest hours of the day because this is almost unbearable. It's a pipe. A little okay. nice one, no? What and how much is this? This is also silver. Also, I get garage. Guarantee? Yes. And this also? Also silver. So we're in this antique shop and we asked them to see if they have any Jewish items and they showed up with a couple stuff, which is quite fascinating actually. So uh Lucas probably gonna buy it. Okay. 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 So we're here now with the carpet section. Very nice. Let's see the old stuff. This is a prayer mat, yes? Okay, so we stopped here outside the market. We're doing one of my favorite things to do on a hot day in the Middle East. We're getting fresh juice. I'm just going to make a blessing on my juice. Thanking God for this on a hot day. Buri khat wadeh noy dhamir shayi wadeh shayi wadeh shayi wadeh shayi wadeh shayi wadeh Okay, so we're back on the river. Looks like we're getting on a boat again. After we cross the river, we're gonna go to the hotel and have lunch. And then we're gonna head out for our next leg of the trip. Okay, so Lipa's collecting stones. From the water. He's gonna use it in his uh, mixed media art. So we're here with uh, one of the captains of the river police. It's nice to meet you. Thank you, Shukran. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Everybody's so friendly here. On our way back to the hotel, we passed many military vehicles and personnel as well as one of Saddam Hussein's old palaces in Baghdad. Okay, so we are currently in Fallujah. 
which I really am like pinching myself, can't believe I'm here because this is a place that was involved in uh, numerous wars and I remember hearing this name all the time as a child growing up. It's funny, you hear it looks, it looks peaceful and everything, but once upon a time, this place was quite a mess. Here we are on the Euphrates River in Fallujah, which I hear was, uh, I did not know this, but it was once inhabited by ISIS and before that Al-Qaeda. And wasn't this place also very active during the uh, US invasion? Yeah, yeah. It was like a uh, full of terrorist groups when US troops were here. And now it's a peaceful city? Now it's, yeah, it's controlled, it's a peaceful city, yeah. See? Time heals things. Slowly, slowly, things get better. Thank God, Fallujah is free. And you can capture the wisdom of Lakewood, you can capture the plums of the Lake Abbey. So, Lipa's recording some videos and composing songs. We are currently in Ramadi, which is not far from Fallujah. And uh, these are places that traditionally had academies of Talmudic studies and where the Talmud was written uh, well over a thousand years ago, almost two thousand years ago. So uh, this is a big part of the trip and what we're doing. Composing a little song here. We're in Erdua and there's no excitement to show I'm in Erdua. I'm gonna show you I'm here. I held something, I bought something. I'm going to Pempadisa, there's nothing. I'm going to see but there's nothing. I can I can stand in Brooklyn and tell you this is Pimpadisa. But it's not really Pimpadisa. Here is the place where I came all the way to look at this at the ear of the yeshivas that was building Klaisro. And this message occurs to me that it's not about finding a paroich as an Instagram picture. I'm here at this place. Tamarun came here to this world. They built up the Gemura. And the words of wisdom reach us Lakewood, Monroe, Benebrak. It's not the building, it's not the parochas, it's not the picture. It's the words of wisdom in the heart. Perfectionism is I have to record it here and do music. I mean, sometimes it's about the feelings. Like, this is just a regular street, but a thousand years ago was a big school here and you could look at it as a sentimental meaning but for me standing here and composing a song and take it back to America and write it is an unbelievable gift you know and what we learn from this and you you as an Arab also you're both uh, from the different uh, culture than me yeah but we're just human beings it's okay and what I learned from this the wisdom that our sages taught us here, even now it's a different culture, but people in America and Israel, Australia, Europe, Asia, they still study the wisdom that was practiced here. And what we can learn from this is that when you leave wisdom in the world, it's not about um, that I have to have the place and be in the same place. You leave wisdom and it can continue forever. Okay, so it's late at night, um, probably after 1 a.m. again. And after lunch today, we went out to a couple places an hour or two away from Baghdad, where we um, visited sites that previously held Talmudic academies, you know, close to 2,000 years ago. And um, Lipa composed some songs there, which was really, really special. He's a very talented guy, meaning like, I'm a friend of his, I'm not trying to toot his horn, but he, even I, who know how talented he is, I was blown away by, by some things he did today. He's really, 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 really gifted. Anyhow, now I'm back in the hotel. I'm going to have some dinner. Made myself a 
ramen, ramen, whatever you call it, noodle soup. And uh, I'm going to get ready to get some sleep. We have a big day tomorrow.